We've been building rockets the same way for decades. They work, powerful but flawed. They need an immense amount of chemical fuel. That makes them inefficient and incredibly heavy. Great power, huge fuel bills. But what if there was another way? Back in the 1960s scientists built something radical. NERVA, nuclear engine for rocket vehicle application. Not chemical, nuclear thermal. A reactor heated liquid hydrogen. That extreme heat turned hydrogen into thrust. Specific impulse, more than double a chemical rocket, meaning far less fuel to reach deep space. NERVA engines were ground tested and built to scale. Tests showed thrust from 75,000 to 250,000 pounds. Real numbers, real power, they proved it worked, flawlessly on the ground. With that efficiency, Mars missions suddenly became practical, far less propellant, lighter ships, bigger payloads. Then politics hit. Nixon pulled the plug on post-Apollo Mars plans, Nerva got mothballed, engines never flew, many program veterans are still with us, now well past retirement, their expertise is aging, knowledge is evaporating, a wealth of know-how went on hold with the dream. The engines were never flight tested. Imagine if we revived that work today. Cleaner, lighter, far more efficient. The expertise is fragile, but not gone. Revival could unlock realistic crewed Mars missions. The dream was paused, the question is do we restart it? If you enjoyed this like and subscribe for more.